Hi everybody, Cheryl and Lady coming to you from the Ladies Garden and Home and it's April. It's spring. It's a time of renewal. It's also a time to get a lot of stuff done in the garden. So join us while I go over all of the different things that we need to get accomplished this month. I hope you join us. I'd like to say congratulations to our Huskies. Yes, we are a Husky family. My son graduated UConn, and uh, anyway, we were very thrilled by the national uh, championships last night. So congratulations, Huskies. Anyway, I wanted to go over um, a bunch of things that we need to get done in the garden in April. And it's not just to um, start planting in our cool crops, but, but it's also to prep things for the summer and the coming warm season. Anyway, if you're like me, um, you're a little behind. Uh, said before, I'm a fair weather gardener. I'm not one that likes to come out with a heavy coat on. Um, but it's starting to warm up just a little bit. And it's time to get going in the garden. Anyway, I thought I would start with uh, things that we can sow in April whether we sow indoors or we sow directly into the ground, April is a month for sowing. Right, lady? She, she, she doesn't sow anything. Anyway, um... <laughs> you don't. Well, you don't. You don't... You, you do help. Yes, you do, I know. Yes, you help a lot. <laughs> anyway. Um, I'm in zone 7A and uh, here in southwest Connecticut and um, this probably applies to a good amount of people in the country at this point um, where you've got a last frost date maybe uh, end of April, uh, mid-May or um, your evening temperatures are going to start climbing up into like maybe the high 40s. I'm going to start with what we can sow in the ground this month, concentrating obviously on the cool season crops. You can get your peas in, you can get your root vegetables in, which I don't really like to transplant. I like to sow them directly. So beets, carrots, turnips, you can do things like lettuce and Swiss chard. Now I've already started some lettuce um, and planted it up in the green stalk, but now it's time to get a second sowing, a succession sowing going. Um, cool herbs like your dill, cilantro, parsley, sage. There are a lot of crops that you can start indoors and have them ready to plant out when the evening temperatures are in the 60s or so. And those are your heat loving or warm season crops. So things like pumpkins, like winter squash, summer squash, zucchini, uh, gooseneck, beans, uh, whether they are pole beans that you climb up on a pole or a trellis or bush beans that stay low to the ground. If you haven't already, you can start your peppers and tomatoes uh, and your eggplant. Now peppers, um, they take a while to grow, but there are some pepper varieties that are a little faster growing and faster maturing than others. So if you really want to go with like the hot chili peppers, it may be a little too late and you may want to buy starts on that, but you can, you can still uh, start a whole bunch of different peppers. Basil, um, other kind of warm loving uh, herbs like... Um... Lady, don't eat that. Lady. Stop, don't eat that. And you get sick. Let's see, um, now's a really good time to re-sow anything that didn't work the first time. So for example, uh, my opal basil didn't make it. I had an aphid problem. Uh, fennel didn't make it. I don't know why, maybe I started that too early and I put it out in the uh, greenhouse and it was a little too chilly for it. Um, and you can also succession sow, stuff like lettuce, peas. If you've already gotten some started, um, you know, every two, three weeks, get another round started so you've got a succession going throughout the uh, growing season. 
and then you can do your annual flowers. It may be a little bit late for certain flowers, like impatience, if you want to get them blooming, um, you know, towards the um, late spring. But things like borage, calendula, marigolds, uh, poppies, cosmos, zinnias, you can get all of those started. Cosmos and sweet peas, you can put in the ground at this point. But um, something like zinnias um, or marigolds, uh, nasturtiums too, you're going to want to start those inside. And this time of year, I keep my seeds that I'm going to succession sow um, and direct sow into the ground. And also my plant markers with me in my garden basket when I come out. So I can remember and do it quicker than if I forgot and had to run around finding them. And it's also time to plant out all of those cool season crops that, um, that I started back in February. And um, my broccoli, my cauliflower. So those can be planted out now. So other tasks that, stop eating that. I say, hey, stop eating that. Some other tasks, yeah, don't, you're gonna get sick. Some other tasks that um, it's good to uh, get going on in April are things like clearing out beds. Uh, I still have uh, one bed that I have to clear out or th and then amending your soil. So they'll be ready to plant into as soon as uh, the plants are ready. And that's, uh, and by amending, I mean adding compost, like an inch of compost on top and then um, working some fertilizer and um, some worm castings into the top where you're going to plant in. And also as you're clearing out your beds and stuff, if you haven't already started a compost pile, start one. Um, it's just no time like the present to start composting. And uh, you'll be very, very happy when you do because uh, hopefully you can save on a couple of bags of compost, which aren't cheap this year, I have to say. It's also a really good time to refresh your containers, pots and grow bags and things like that that you're gonna be planting into, even if you don't know what you're gonna be planting into them yet. Um, just, you know, put some compost in there and some fertilizer and just mix it around so they're ready to plant when you are. The winter is pretty harsh on your yard, so it's time to clean up things like leaves, sticks that have fallen, um, pine cones and that kind of thing. The, the stuff that is not really necessarily time sensitive, but uh, makes you feel better when it's done because then it really looks so much better. So one of the major tasks that I had, um, that I've got going on this spring is last year I had put down a ton of cardboard um, through most of the garden to suppress and kill off uh, grass, basically. And in its place, I'm gonna be planting white clover. I'm gonna look for a day or two that it's gonna rain and I'm going to just basically shake the seeds all over the yard and um, the rain hopefully will help it germinate kind of quickly and also I'll be able to keep Lady out of the garden um, and walking around over it as much as possible. The thing I did is I took that cardboard and I moved it over here to this side of the garden because I'm going to be putting down mulch there so I'm going to kill off the um, the weeds and the grass that um, are growing alongside this center, this bed here. And I'm gonna be um, putting just mulch over it. Next year, maybe I'll wanna plant some white clover, but I don't have the patience to look at another couple of months of really ugly looking cardboard. Another thing that I'm doing is I'm going to be replacing a bunch of the solar ca candles that didn't last and um, just making the lighting a little bit nicer in the evening here. And the other thing I'm gonna be doing um, is finally using the fire pit and I'm gonna be using it to burn a bunch of the sticks that have fallen and the pine cones and that kind of uh, debris that's j just um, takes a long time to break down in a compost bin, but you know, it makes such good potash and I could use that to amend the soil. Well, that's it. April's a busy month, but it's also a month full of hope and promise. It's also a very busy month. 
So take care of yourself, get organized. Don't try to take on everything at once. Um, you know, if it takes a little bit longer, it takes a little bit longer. I wanna wish you a very happy Easter. And if you like this video, please give it a like. And I hope you uh, subscribe and hit the alert bell so you can see my new videos as they come out. And from the Ladies Garden and Home, enjoy your garden journey.